I don't think it bothers Kenny Monday as much as it bothers me, but he only gives up one point at the 92 Olympics, happened to be a point in the finals. But I think he had a bad shoulder injury. How did he get through that tournament and wrestle? It was crazy. You know, I, I took the day off. We, we, were, we were training. Um, we, had, we had our acclimation camp going on in preparation for the Olympic Games, and that was the day I took off of practice. And so I didn't go to practice, and then the guys started coming back from, from that practice and coming into the Olympic Village and coming into our apartment. And they were like, Kenny's hurt, man. Kenny got hurt. And unfortunately, I, fortunately, I didn't see the injury, but I guess he hyperextended his elbow very, very bad. It was, it, I mean, they actually flew in Greg Alinsky, who was the alternate um, at Kenny's weight, because they did not think Kenny would be able to compete. So his elbow was, was, was gone. And, and you got to understand how that really affects Kenny Monday. First of all, he's, he's probably one of the most mentally tough guys that I've ever been around in the sport of wrestling. But Kenny was a big-time underhook guy. And the elbow that was hurt was on his underhook side, it was his underhook uh, arm. And I think a lot of his offense came off that underhook action. He forced underhook to control position, forced underhook to create situations. Also, he had that lateral drop from the underhook. He had a knee tap. He had a throw by. He had, he had a lot of offense from that position. Um, he chose not to tape that elbow because he, he, he didn't want his, his opponents to, to know. But the word gets out, you know, word gets out that Kenny Mundy's injured. And sure enough, he gets to the finals with a Korean that he had devastated in 1991. Kenny had to beat the Korean by – to make the finals in 91 because of the three-way tie, Kenny had to either tech his opponent, pin him, or beat him by six. Kenny – or, or, yeah, tech him, shut him out, or pin him. Kenny was winning by six against the same guy he wrestled in the Olympic Finals, and then he pinned him. This is the guy he had in the Olympic Finals in 92, so showing that he's, he's totally dominant of this guy. But uh, uh, this guy's probably one of the best, best wrestlers that Korea's ever produced. Um, Kenny put his underhook on him in the first minute, and his opponent d did this to this Kenny's elbow, bending his elbow, went really hyperextended it. Kenny never threw the underhook ever again, and it kind of, kind of slowed Kenny's offense down, slowed his – slowed his actions down, and, and, and I think they just had a great tactical plan. They were just looking to sneak him at the end, similar to what's going on these days sometimes with some of our guys. And fortunately for him, he, he snuck Kenny at the end with a takedown with 15 seconds left and, and won a gold medal. And that was the only point Kenny had given up. So it was, it was an outstanding performance, especially when you think about how, how bad he was injured. Um, and uh, and that, really, that really said a lot to me, too. I was in the locker room after Kenny lost, and, and seeing the devastation on his face, and it motivated me because um, I didn't ha I hadn't competed yet, but just you know seeing how it affected him and how hard he had worked and still didn't bring home the gold, it, it motivated me to go out there and and, and really really um, make sure I took advantage of that opportunity myself.